A fire at a historic black church overnight is now being investigated as suspicious. The blaze that engulfed the Orange Park Church comes a week after the pastor, William Randall, pleaded guilty to sexual battery of a child. One of several charges filed against the now 77 year old back from 2018. The 30 year old St. Simon Baptist Church is a historic church and it was engulfed in flames when firefighters arrived and sadly it could not be saved. Now the state fire marshal along with the Bureau of Fire, Arson and Explosives explosives is investigating what is being called a suspicious fire. So on your sides, Leah Shields, she shares new videos of that fire and what the church plans to do now. Leah. Church members say this is a test of their faith. Now you can see this more in the daylight. All of the damaged cinder block walls now on the ground, charred walls on the ones that are still standing, and you can still somewhat smell the smoke when the wind gets blowing. This part of the roof was a little bit still on fire just a second ago. It was 11 p.m. when the 911 calls came in. One of the calls coming from Betty Grubb's grandson, who was heading to her house to check on her. Called me, my grandma, grandma, get out, get out. So I ran back in the house and waked my granddaughter up, and it was a real, really big fire, big. Her neighbor took this video while Grubbs ran to other neighbors to get them out. They thought the fire would spread. Then church members began getting the news. Their church was a total loss. We've had our share of challenges over the years, but this one by far um, has been the greatest thus far, the most devastating and prayerfully, you know, a test of our faith and a testament to just how good our God is because our no doubt about it, you know, we'll, we'll come out of this and uh, we'll, we'll pull through, we'll go through. Moyende Abakisie is the reverend's assistant. He says he was saved here 20 years ago, ended up getting married here, and eventually his son was married here too. As the sun came up, people have been stopping by to pray. Where will they pray come Easter Sunday? Well, the church administrator, Deacon Lester Perry, says they've got plenty of room outside. Jesus Christ didn't have all of this. So, I mean, it, it was worse. They were in the desert in a desolate place. So it doesn't have to be a beautified place to, to worship the Lord. So, so. Now this just in, investigators are still on scene and we were just handed this sign. It says officials suspect this fire was a result of arson. Cash rewards toll free call 1-877-662-7766. If you know anything, again, this happening around 11 p.m. last night in Orange Park. We just got this. Now earlier we did confirm that this was being investigated as suspicious, but the sign now says it is believed to be an arson. Live in Orange Park, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.